Happy Thursday morning. I'm Emily Lampa. And I'm Mercedes Wilson. We are so excited because we are live on location at none other than Frank Lloyd Wright's Martin House. I am so excited, Emily, aren't you? Because I think I'm like nerding out to the next level. She is, and it's fabulous <laughs> because we are in a beautiful location that if you have not been here, you will want to come after today's show. It's so true. And if you have been here already, and it's been quite some time, there are more than enough reasons to come out for a mm -hmm. new visit because things are always happening here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into all of it today yes. because the entire show live from this location. And we're going to welcome our friends in right now because yes. right off the top, we want to start talking about visitors to the Martin House because this yep. is the time of year, I think, that is most beautiful. Or am I wrong? Oh, it's beautiful 12 months of the year. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew I was I wrong. But Suzanne, I'm a little biased. <laughs> Suzanne Badgley, and, and of course, Jesse we have Fisher. Jesse Fisher. Yep. You are both here to talk about the preservation of what really is a local gem. Yeah. So much work being done here. Absolutely. Um, it was really the efforts of a, an entire community that started really back in the 50s. Um, it has an amazing history, and this estate was so significant in Frank Lloyd Wright's career. Yeah. So whether you love history, whether you love Buffalo, like I do, born and raised here, whether you love architecture, really there are so many inspiring stories and reasons to come. Yeah, uh, can you speak to the architecture? Because there, uh, architecture, sorry, there's so much to take in here. Where do we even begin, if you can do that? <laughs> of course, well we can begin right here. This is actually the oldest house on the estate and it's the first house designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in New York State, so mm -hmm. it's pretty special for that reason. So um, Darwin Martin had this house built for his sister, Delta, mm -hmm. almost as a test to see if he enjoyed working with Frank Lloyd Wright, to see if they would want to go forward and build this amazing estate, the rest of the buildings here, as well as the Larkin Administration Building, which would go on to be Frank Lloyd Wright's first commercial building um, and really a pivotal point in his career. So it is not overstating it to say that Darwin Martin and his relationship with Frank Lloyd Wright really enabled Frank Lloyd Wright to um, become the architect that he is. He really is arguably the most important American architect to ever live. He changes the face of what buildings look like. You even get a sense of it in this space today. You know, a lot of us who grew up in old Buffalo houses like I did, we're used to all those little separate rooms, yeah. right? All those little boxes. Frank Lloyd Wright rejects that concept entirely. He's the first person to really start designing these open concept plans, which mm -hmm. are all the rage today. But that really starts 100 years ago, right here in Delta Barton's house on the Martin House estate. I like his version of a test. <laughs> what about you, Emily? I do, I love it. So, Jesse, you have so much background in preservation, so you know this better than anyone. The amount of work that has gone into this estate to bring it to the mm -hmm. state it is now where people can enjoy it and see what it was in its glory, how big of an endeavor is that? This endeavor was huge. I actually generally refer to it as an act of civic heroism. This really, this space was rescued by some incredibly visionary people. So um, turn of this last century, Darwin Martin uh, has this estate built and he and his family live here until 1930, well he dies in 1935, his family continues to live here until 1937. And then it's such a unique piece of architecture, it's also 15,000 square feet in the Great Depression, so no one wants to take it on. So the house is actually abandoned and empty for 20 years, mm -hmm. and then a local architect brings it, rescues it, buys it, moves his family into it, um, but again, 15,000 square feet, it's hard to keep up. He winds up selling part of the property. And that new owner demolishes this beautiful per uh, pergola and conservatory and carriage house that um, uh, and builds apartment buildings. And they're these kind of, you know, we hate to criticize architecture, but they're pretty ugly apartment buildings. And they wind <laughs> up getting built in those spaces. And they're here um, all the way up until the 2000s. So what ends up happening is in the 1960s, UB buys the Martin House and they move their president into it. He's an urban planner. Um, he really recognizes Frank Lloyd Wright. He feels very honored to be there. So they build this house. They start the restoration effort. And then thanks to the likes of Stan Lipsy and Bob Wilmers and Robert Cressy, there's this idea that this is really a visionary space for Buffalo. We could turn this into something 
amazing and it can be part of our cultural tourism. Um, it can be part of what puts Buffalo on the map and brings tourists here and brings scholars here. Yeah. And so in the early 90s, they embark on this process. They wind up buying those ugly apartment buildings, tearing them down, yes. rebuilding all those amazing spaces that you can now come here and see and opening this space to the public. So it's not only a space for architectural tourism, but also it's a space for learning and design excellence here in our community. Ladies, I have to yes. say, we are so blessed that we can have our show live yes. from the Barton House yes. on the Martin House property because it's not often that you can actually bring cameras into this space. Mm -hmm. And being able to share these images that you have, just glorious images mm -hmm. of the entire property, it truly is a blessing that we're able to share this with Western New York right now. Yes. So if you'd like to come out, we're going to be talking about this in just a bit, yeah. talking about touring this area that you said because there are parts that are brand new right Jesse yeah. that had to be rebuilt completely and there are parts that you just you have to know by being here yeah right yeah we are giving you an inside look a preview mm -hmm. but there are things that you just have to come out you have to be here yourself. you have to be so here. we will talk about all of that in just a bit so stay with us you're watching AM Buffalo live at Frank Lloyd Wright's Martin House we'll be right back